Praise God. Father, we give you the praise. We give you all glory. We thank you, O oh God, for the story that holy men of God wrote as you spoke and gave them the history, O oh God, of things they, they were not witness of, God, even as we are not witness of many of the things of the past. But, Lord, we can see today that our eyes being open, O oh God, we may understand not only the word of God, but, oh Lord, the principalities of the air, the wickedness and the, the, the powers that are in the heavenly realm, O oh God, that we may cast down everything that exalts us up above your knowledge, the knowledge of the past, the knowledge of the present, as well as the knowledge of the future. This we pray and ask in Jesus' name and for his name's sake, amen. amen. I want to pick up where uh, uh, I'm going to bring about Sihon and Og. Someone go ahead, you can go ahead and read. Sihon and Og, sons of Samyaza. The Babylonian Talmud contains a singular mention of the name Samyaza, spelled with the Hebrew spelling in the Vilna edition with some lesser variations in the manuscripts in Nida 61a accordingly. Now Sihon and Og were brothers, as the master said. Sihon and Og were sons of Ahijah, son of Samyaza. So this particular person is in the book of Enoch that led the rebellion of the watchers that we read about in Genesis 6 when the sons of God saw the daughters of men. So in various historical, book, historical books, we have the mention of these particular brothers. Continue. The text does not elucidate the identity of Samyaza, who appears nowhere else in the corpus, but clearly portrays him as the grandfather of Og, the king of Bashan, and the last of Rephaim, known for his gigantic height and strength, Deuteronomy 3, verse 11. As such, this can be taken as a reference to the myth of the fallen angels and the motif of their gigantic progeny transmitted in Apocrypha and Pseudo Pigrapha. What I have been doing since 1978, uh, I was walking to the church. We, we had moved, actually in 1979, we had moved my wife and I to be closer to the church that we attended. And as I was walking, uh, the Lord spoke to me and he said, Peleg. He just gave me one word, Peleg. Mm -hmm. And I kept walking towards the church and he kept saying, Peleg, Peleg. And so finally, I said, let me stop and go back home. I went home and I looked up Peleg. In Genesis 10, 25, To Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided. And so the word Peleg, when I look at it, all I could get was, okay, in his days the earth was divided. And the Lord said, no, I want you to go to the Strong Concordance to see what Peleg means. And so I went to the Strong Concordance and I looked at the word Peleg and his name means earthquake. So, if we were reading the scriptures, it would say, in the, read it again. To Eber were born two sons. And to Eber, Eber is where we get the Hebrews. So, something happened in the days of Eber. And a lot of people don't know what happened in the days of Eber because they don't know who Eber is. And Eber is and was the father of what we call Hebrews. The word Eber is, he, that's, that's where you get the word Hebrews. And what were Hebrews? They were the children of Eber. But what happens in the days of Eber? In the days of Eber, in the days of Eber, something happened. There was an earthquake. And it says, in the days of Eber, he had two sons. One name was Earthquake, and the other name was Joktan, which means to cut in half or to divide and separate. And, and it says, in their days, the earth was divided. So when I went to look up the word Eber, I mean Peleg in the concordance, the word Peleg had another word right next to it named Peleg. 
spelled identically, but it was the word divided in the very same verse. So it goes like this. In the days of Eva, the earth was peleg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Eva had two sons. One name was Peleg, mm -hmm. and the other name was Joktan, because in their days, the earth was Peleg. Mm -hmm. So I looked up the two beast Pelegs, and w one meant earthquake, mm -hmm. the other one meant separation by water. Mm -hmm. So in the days of Peleg, when he he was born, his father Eber was a follower of the one God. But God tells us something interesting in that Terah, the father of Abraham, followed other gods. So when Joshua got into the promised land, remember now you got all of these giants and you got all these other gods. So Joshua says to people, you have to choose this day which God you are going to serve. Mm -hmm. the, the gods that was before the flood, mm -hmm. I mean on the side of with the, the days of Noah and all of them from Adam to Noah, the gods in whom land you then dwell the, are the gods of Egypt. So he gives them three pantheons of gods. He doesn't limit it to one pantheon of gods. He said there was a pantheon of a gods before the flood. Mm -hmm. There's a pantheon of gods that are in Egypt, where you just left, and there's a pantheon of gods where you are going into the promised land and where we are today, he says. Mm -hmm. But he says, as for me and my house, we have decided to serve the one God. Mm -hmm. So these gods exist. So this Sihon and Og, are the, they are the remnant. The remnant means the piece that's left. You only got a small piece. So they are the last of the ones from the, their father being, back up one again, back up to the, the, the. And so when you don't know all the history of the world, not the history of the secular world. Mm -hmm. the, the, the secular world is pushing history millions and millions of miles away from the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, when I grew up, it was only a thousand years between the truth. Mm -hmm. Now, in your day, it's millions of years from that truth. Mm -hmm. So the God of this world want to take you away from the truth mm -hmm. in millions of years and so that the generation that rise up in the church that goes through their educational system, by the time they are teenagers, they have no faith in the belief that you have. Mm -hmm. And you don't have the faith that your parents had, and they don't have the faith of their grandparents. So you are more secular in your beliefs of God than the generation before you, who's more secular than their generation. So as we're getting closer to the coming of the Lord, the church is getting more secular. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and so I'm telling you history, and my history is from the Word of God. The, the, his story, if you want to know God's story, his story is in his book. If you want to know the story of the liars, they write their own history. All right? So this, this, these Sihon and Og, back to Peleg. So if you study the history in Genesis 10, this Genesis 10 starting with verse 1. Now this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah. So we have the genealogies of the son of Noah. This is not the genealogies of the sons of Adam. Because Noah is a new beginning. <clears throat> so this is the genealogy, or I like to put it this way, this is the history of the sons of Noah. Continue. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So Noah has three sons from his wife, but his wife has another son from her, her, her son. Mm -hmm. So Ham impregnated his own mother and give us Canaan. Yeah. So now Noah is going to have four sons. He's going to have Ham, 
Japheth, Shem, and Canaan. Continue to read. And sons were born to them after the flood. And then sons were born to these sons after the flood. Continue. The sons of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Togarmah. The sons of Javan were Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. From these, the coastland peoples of the Gentiles were separated into their lands. So all of the people of the coastlands, they're coming from, their, from a particular son of Noah, and they populated the coastlands. Continue. Everyone according to his language. According and to every their... one of them are given a language. But remember now, they only have one language. Mm -hmm. look, look in Genesis 11, verse 1. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. So when they come off the ark, mm -hmm. they only have one language and one speech. Language and speech are different. That's why it's two separate words there. Mm -hmm. So you may have a language, but what is your speech? Mm -hmm. You deceiver you. You, <laughs> you liar you. Mm -hmm. So why? You, you may speak with false tongue. You may say something in English, I love you, but your speech betray you. I discern you really hate me. Remember now, what a smile is, a, a, a smile is a frown turned upside down within my friend. Smiling faces tell lies. And so your speech betray you. Even though you speak my language, I understand your speech. Mm. So hence, when the disciples stood before the Sanhedrin and the whatever, their speech betrayed them. They took knowledge that they had been with Jesus. See, a lot, some of you are saved, but your speech betray you. You still have the language of the Babylonians. You still got cursing in your mouth. You still got lying under your tongue. And James says, my, my brother, this ought not be. Your speech and your language should be the same. Mm -hmm. So in those days, their speech and their language were the same. If a person told you something, that they gave you their word. Mm -hmm. uh, you understand? So God gave us his word. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't hear that. God gave us his word, and his God is bound by his word, and his word taught us how to speak. <laughs> so your speech should be uh, honest. Truthfulness. Those that worship God must worship him not only in spirit, but also in truth. And the way you worship God is also how you talk to one another in truth. Let not, the, the, let not under your tongue be hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Continue. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. So in the land of Shinar, they were all of one speech. Mm -hmm. Who was? All of them. Nor and his sons and family. So Nor is also part of the all. <laughs> because Noah is alive at this time. Mm -hmm. And so when they go and they found this particular place, they go continue. Then they said to one another, come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. Mm -hmm. So they, they are one in something known as a rebellion. Go ahead. And they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. So whatever name they had, they did not want that name anymore mm. or any longer. Mm -hmm. So they had a name. Mm -hmm. They had a name. But whatever name they had, they rejected that person's name. So all of my, so you, you got people that African Americans that become Muslims and guess what they do? They change their name. And so then some of you have probably named some of your kids that a name that nobody knows, not even you. <laughs> and so you will send your kids to school and they're going to be called Cuckoo Kaka. <laughs> and who in the world is Cuckoo Kaka? You know, I had a best friend that became Muslim and he changed his name to fail. And I asked him, why did you change your name to failure? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. To fail. 
to fail rather than to succeed. I mean, if you're going to give yourself a name, choose a name that when people hear is positive. Now, and so this continued lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. So they decided to challenge, notice that they challenged someone that they actually thought they could challenge. Mm -hmm. And no one can challenge the Most High God. Mm -hmm. But whoever is their gods in those days, they said we can take him on. Mm -hmm. See, in our Bible, mm -hmm. they said we not only can take him on, we can make sure that he can't destroy us like he did before. Mm -hmm. So whatever God destroyed the world prior to this, they are saying we can take him on. Mm -hmm. Continue. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower. which So, the so notice the Lord. Not God. Because there's a difference between the God of gods and the Lord of lords. Mm -hmm. So God didn't come down. Who came down? The Lord, Lord came down. They come down to see what? To see the city and the tower which the sons of men he had came built. came to examine to see how far they are, they have progressed in their rebellion. Continue. And the Lord said, indeed, the people are one. So he's talking to the people of his world, or the Lord's. And, as, and so you need to read the stories that the church says did not happen. See, God is a God of gods, and he's the Lord of lords. So there are the gods, there are the lords, and then on the earth he put kings. So he's God of gods, Lord of lords, and he's king of kings. All of these are different rulers in different different locations of, of Realm. and realms. So you got the kings of the earth, you got the lords, like the, one of them came down talking to the other lords, and then you have the gods above the lords. But so the lords, the Lord came down to see this, what these people had done. Mm -hmm. Because they made it pacific that they were to go to their own locations. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and start his own household. But we living in a time where that, you don't see that happening anymore. You know, everybody raising grown adults. Continue. Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. So he says they are one in this rebellion. They don't want the name we gave them, so they had the, the whatever God's name was, they had it in those days. Continue. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down, and there confuse so their language. not one Lord is coming down there. Yeah. Many Lords are coming down, okay? Go ahead. That they may not understand one another's speech. So someone says, let them, notice he didn't say they may not understand each, each other's language. Let's take away the discernment of whether a person is lying to each other. So God is going to take away your ability to recognize a lie. Wow. So hence, you vote for liars. They're called politicians. <laughs> They get up and they lie straight to your face, and you point to each other's liars. And do I hear a different speech? You can't recognize speech. You have very little discernment. Then when someone who recognizes your person's speech and tell you that, you get angry. See, if, in order to tell you about the seven seals, I have to tell you about you. Why? Because you go and repeat their speech. So they get up and they lie to you, and you go and repeat it. So the prince of the power of the air now can get his speech out in masses. They get up on the TV, they give you their speech, you memorize it. You don't memorize the word of God. Mm -hmm. You memorize their talking points. 
Then you come to a real prophet like myself and you get embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't realize whom you yield your members to, mm -hmm. his servant you become. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, the day you're a member, tomorrow you're my enemy. Wow. Rather than wait for tomorrow for you to show your true color because your speech betray you, yeah. I tell you who you are today. Mm -hmm. Well, I decided not to wait for tomorrow mm -hmm. to tell you I know who you are. Mm -hmm. I know who you are, and I know who your gods are. Mm -hmm. I know that your God is not my God. So like Joshua, I say, as for me and my house, we should serve the Lord. From the, hmm. From the beginning, Jesus said, one of you are devil. So it's not um, something strange. He, from the beginning, told the people that was in his circle who and what they were. Hmm. And so, continue. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. So God scattered them where? Over all the face of the earth. But the earth hasn't been broken up yet. Mm -hmm. He hasn't done the Peleg yet. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yeah. Eber is going to tell us in my day. Well, and, and, and Eber says, when in Genesis 10, go ahead, let, let, go ahead, let me finish this off. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because... So now, so, so now, so people keep looking for a Babel. Mm. No, the rebellion is called Babel, not the location. Right. Mm. So everybody is trying to find this particular tower that they stopped building. But you can find it. Why? Because Eber had two sons. One of his sons' name is Earthquake. God did something with the Earthquake that he's going to divide what we call the continents. So the lie told you that the continents took millions of years to drift. Wow. God said it took just one earthquake. Wow. <laughs> and every now and then, God give us a demonstration. Mm -hmm. Like in the 80s, we had Mount Helen mm -hmm. blew up. Yeah. It was a volcano explosion. Mm -hmm. But what happened? It moved land the size of one of our state, Rhode Island, all the way to Alaska. Mm -hmm. One mountain blew its top, and it moved enough land of one of the states, Rhode Island, that they couldn't find it. Years later, they found it up in Alaska. It blew it that far. That was one volcano explosion. What else happened? The, the explosion from Mount Helen is still in the atmosphere, circling the earth in the wind. It dropped the temperature five degrees. Mm -hmm. It has changed our climate. Not emissions like those lies told you that you keep repeating them dumb talking points. Mm -hmm. And so when I show you and tell you how God has done things, that fool wants you to think you did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Continue. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because so, there the Lord confused the language of all the earth. So there's a place where God confused everything, a place. And people keep thinking, and, and this is the problem. They're looking for it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But you don't know where they were when they were building. They said in the land of Shinnah. In other words, who land was it? You know, like the, God sent Cain to the land of Nod? Yeah. That's the name of somebody. Mm. Shinar is not a location, it's the name. Mm. It's someone's land. Mm. They went somewhere to make a name for themselves and they thought they were safe under that particular person. 
You're going to think you're safe under whatever God you under. The government, the church. Could churches have that different Jesus? And I have no problem telling people, I know my Jesus is different from yours. Mine's had power to raise the dead. I done raised two. Mine's had the power to kill the innocent. You don't need that number. See, they're the same to him. He caused judgment to come on the guilty and the innocent. Mm -hmm. See, he told you that. Because mm -hmm. my God says, I don't respect people. Mm -hmm. I kill your mother, your father, and your brother, mm -hmm. and just to see how you're going to respond. Mm -hmm. I, I let Satan have Job to kill all 10 kids. And I, I, I didn't resurrect them. Mm -hmm. I gave him 10 more, but they didn't replace the other 10. <laughs> You think he forgot the 10 adult kids that all had their own homes? Wow. How about their children? It doesn't even mention them. You think 10 kids with 10 different homes didn't have children? Did, did God ever apologize? <laughs> am, am I not God? Do I not make alive and kill? See, you see, you don't know the God I serve, he don't play. He don't have favorites. He have orders. And if you're in one of his higher order, that is more favored than the order beneath it. So when God had children grown in the Old Testament, he said, firstborn, it's going to always be the favorite. They get everything. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be second back in those days. Continue. And from there, the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. So from there, God scattered them abroad across all the earth. Deuteronomy 32, around verse 6, I think it is, where... 32 verses uh, verse 8 no we're starting with verse 7 and 8 remember the days of old consider the years of many generations and so what I'm doing is I'm taking it in order to give you an understanding of the book of Revelation I'm telling you let me tell you about the days of old and consider the generations from the past mm -hmm. Because you're not going to understand the future when you don't even understand your present. Mm -hmm. If you can't see the gods of today, how will you recognize the ones coming tomorrow mm -hmm. when you're going to be on their side? Mm -hmm. You say, but I'm in the church. Didn't Joshua told all of the people that came out into the promised land they could not choose God? How many members of the church did he tell? All of them. The whole congregation. The whole congregation. Mm -hmm. Didn't God burn down the, the house of, that was in Shiloh and in the tabernacle? Didn't God burn down the Jewish temple? Didn't Jesus say that every stone of the temple this day would be destroyed? Mm -hmm. Are you so blind mm -hmm. and dumb to see and then can't see? So the Lord said, didn't that Isaiah prophesy of you? You have eyes, but you don't see. You have ears, but you do not hear. What do you do not see? You can't see the truth of the word of God because of the gods of this world has blinded the minds of the children of disobedience. Lest they see the glorious truth of the history from the word of God. Not from the, 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 the geography and history books that they gave you that told you the, the world. The, the world go around the sun? No. God said that he had a generation that believed that and they worshiped the sun. And who came up with that theory? That theory? A man that worshiped the sun. And you can Google that. But no, you don't want to listen to me. You don't even want to listen to Mr. Google. When Mr. Google, you said the guy that came up with the model of what you learn in history, he 
believed in sun worship. Mm -hmm. So hence, he made everything go around the sun. Mm -hmm. But go out here right now and show me one star going around the sun. Mm -hmm. Show me, because how did he come up with it? It was only a theory that's now taught as a truth. Don't get mad at me because of truth, because I can prove the truth. I can take you outside right now, and I'm going to ask you, man, you're going to be him back then. <laughs> Show me the stars going around the sun that's in the sky right now. Show me one star. Oh, he had a telescope. I'm going to give you a telescope. We're going to still go outside. Show me with the telescope this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show me! Wow. Right now, the moon is out there right now. Exactly. And it's not a full moon. Mm -hmm. It's in the sky and out of the sky. They told you it was a shadow. Mm -hmm. Show me the shadow, but I'm going to show you the sky that is in. Wow. But no, you're not going to look up. Uh -huh. You don't want to look up. I don't have a pastor friend yet that can look up. Wow. I ain't talking about you. Wow. I got pastor friends that cannot look up to the truth. Wow. 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 Mm. So he said, read that verse again. Remember the days of old. So remember the days of old. Why? The liars and their prophets, they have your educational system. Mm. Mm. Then you go to church. Mm. After being with them how many hours a day, Monday to Friday? Continue. Consider the years of many generations. Consider the years of many generations. Go ahead. Ask your father and he will show you. Ask your father and he will show you. He's not a gorilla. He uh -huh. <laughs> you don't eat bananas unless he get them from Safeway or a &P or China somewhere. <laughs> he didn't come from a tree house. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. When I worked at the Library of Congress, when they said they believe that, say, well, I'm going to give you bananas, give me your house. Right. Because if you're a child of a monkey, you don't need a house, you need a tree. Yeah. <laughs> How can it get you to believe you come out of a tree? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you, they're lies, they're gods. Continue. Your elders, and they will tell you. Ask somebody with common sense. Mm. Obviously, you're lacking it. <laughs> the earth is under your foot, under your feet. You walk on it, and you look up to see the stars. And they somehow convince you that what's under your feet is over your head. Now, how dumb do they think I am? <laughs> I said, the earth is under my feet. Mm. They said, no, it's in the sky. No, 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 the sun up there, the stars up there, but the earth came out of the water. I can take you to the ocean. Uh -huh. to, in any continent, I can take you to the end of the earth and it goes in the water. It don't go in the sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no highway to the sky <laughs> other than Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the way. Yes. That word way is highway. Do you want to get into the sky? You got to go in Christ. Mm -hmm. Then I prove to you they didn't go to the moon. That ain't good enough. Wow. <laughs> they still trying to convince people they've been to the moon. At the same time, they're telling you they haven't gone. Yep. So how is it I can show you NASA, five or six different astronauts saying, we ain't gone, we need your help. And then the other guy said, we've been there, we lost the technology. <laughs> you, you, you lost technology? Wait a minute. But you got better technology, but you lost technology. You can go down to the NASA, NASA, National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., where you live, and see the aluminum foil that yeah. they said that they yeah. used in the yeah. ship. <laughs> you can actually walk into the, the capsule, and you said they went to the moon, and it's with all that radiation. Mm -hmm. wow. Meantime, when you go to the doctor to get an x-ray, they put something on your chest to protect you from the x-ray machine, and they had something I mean, do you do you connect the dots? Wow. <laughs> wow. And he says, go ahead. 
When the Most High divided when their the inheritance. When the Most High divided, what did he divide? Divided their inheritance to so the nations. So he divided the inheritance of the nations in Genesis 11. He gave you the name of who they were in Genesis 10. Continue. When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the boundaries of the people. And this is the bad translation. This is the one where they're going to tell you they did it by the children of Israel that didn't even exist when he did it. <laughs> see, see, what people want to do when they translate, they make up stuff. The original says the Benno ben Elohim, the sons of the Elohim. So when you go back to the story of Genesis 11 with Genesis 10, with Moses is saying here, you get a picture that God divided the nation by their gods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got to go back to the history. Don't go back to people who don't know the word of God, that don't know, that cannot prove it with history. He divided them by the number of the sons of, Bel of, of Elohim. When the Mosai did, he didn't divide them by his sons. He divided them by the sons of the Elohim. So the Elohim had children. Why? Because God only has one begotten child, Jesus. And he's not an angel. So we go back to Genesis 10, verse 6. So verse 5, from the coastlands, all of the, so we got Javits and all his kids were done by, they got the coastlands by their families and the nations. Notice what it says, according to their language, and we saw when language came. Language came when there was a rebellion. Now Genesis 10 is going to put that rebellion inside a time <coughs> capsule. Go ahead according to their families, into their nations. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. Now, I want you to hear this. It names all of the sons of who? Ham. Ham. So, watch this. Cush, mm -hmm. Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. So, how many sons did Ham have? Four. Four. Count them again. Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. Mm -hmm. Okay. He had how many sons? Four. He had four sons. How many y'all put four fingers up? Yeah. Put four fingers up. Why? Because as you continue to read, watch what happens. Continue. The sons of Cush were Seba, Havilah, Sapta, Rama, and Saptika. And the sons of Rama were Sheba and Dedan. So he lists his grandsons, mm -hmm. his grandsons, and his great grandsons of one of his boys. Continue. Mm -hmm. right. Cush begot Nimrod. Now here we come with a problem. <laughs> it says Cush begot Nimrod. And now we have one of the biggest confusions in the word of God. So we got where is Babylon and who is Nimrod? And so this day you can Google that, you're going to see ain't nobody agreeing with nobody. Mm. Why? That normally means everybody's wrong. <laughs> Why? Because of the confusion. Go ahead. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said... And so that word Nimrod, anybody know what that word Nimrod means? It means the rebellion. So, guess what Cush was the father of? Rebellion. He's the father of rebellion. <clears throat> now, who is Cush? <clears throat> He's the firstborn of Ham. So, Ham's son, his oldest son, is the father of Nimrod. That word Nimrod is not a name. It's what happened. He's the father of the rebellion. <laughs> Why? Because look in verse 7. Look at the, who the sons of Cush is. Go ahead, verse the sons seven. of Cush were Seba, Havilah, Sabta, Rama, and Saptika. Do you see anybody named Nimrod? <laughs> they, because there is no Nimrod. Wow. Because Nimrod is not a name 
of a person wow. is the name of an event. Wow. <laughs> it was called the rebellion. Mm. Or in this case, in the original language, it's called a nimrod. Mm. Wow. Mm. And so everybody is looking for a person. Right. But the person is Cush. Wow. Wow. Mm. And Cush is the father of the rebellion. Yes. Wow. Go ahead. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. So who is the mighty one on the earth? Cush. Wow. Rebellion. Wow. <laughs> and so guess what Cush does with his name? Mm. His name is, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, when you when you do something and your name is associated with that. Synonymous. 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 Yeah. So, could you say that word? Synonymous. Synonymous. Yes, yes, yes. So, Kush's name in those days was the same as Nimrod. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because who was Kush in those days? Remember now, this is right after the flood. Kush became what we call a mighty hunter in those days. Mm -hmm. You know, like the government who gave welfare to African Americans and keep them in their communities to this day. Do you know that the people in, in, in Congress, the African American leaders in the Congress, they have the worst cities and towns in their state. And they keep getting elected. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> they keep you in poverty, wow. giving you the worst education, mm. the worst infrastructure. PG County is the richest black county in America, mm. not in Maryland, mm. in America, wow. with the worst infrastructure. Mm. And they are still building. Mm. And then they're moving African Americans out of DC all the way down to. Uh, uh, La Plata mm -hmm. and, and Waldorf, yeah. and so and then you can't even get into that through Branch Avenue. But everybody's saying that right. But guess who you, you keep voting for? Oh my God. Well, and and they and they're gonna that you don't even have an option. Mm. Mm. PG don't even have an option. Mm. To vote for somebody that can give them an infrastructure. So you know, the last governor they had had a couple of terms. He was a Republican. You know what he did? The first thing he did when he became governor, he gave PG County over four hundred some million dollars. So I asked my politician friends that are in the church that are pastors too. Did they realize what that person did? And so they started telling me about Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I said, Donald Trump ain't governor of Maryland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I asked him, what did, you, what did you get from the guy you voted for before the other guy became governor? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> then he gave us free health care. Mm -hmm. So my son got free health care and dental. Mm -hmm. So I called the person. And I face, you know, they were on Facebook. I asked them. They got on there talking about something. I said, don't you know that you can tell your people today they, they could go and get free health care, and you are a delegate or a, a senate, a senator, not a state senator, but a not a federal state. A, 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 a local senator. And, and, it, and the person said, we're going to talk to the side. No, we ain't talking to the side. Let's talk on Facebook mm -hmm. with your ignorant self. <laughs> You're so full of hatred, you don't even want people to go get something free because who's giving it to them? Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Then when you come in there, you're going to take credit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Continue. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. So this Cush or this rebellion begin to provide welfare for the people. Mm -hmm. Hence, they all came to him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. So, who is he like? 
the mighty one before the Lord. Go ahead. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. And Eric so Cush, beginning of his kingdom, is Babel. You know, it, it, then you will see more than one. You're not going to see like in G Genesis 11 where they were all in one accord in the land of Shinar. Mm -hmm. And watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you back to that to show you because so we can get to all of these gods. <laughs> Go ahead. We can because I see the Lord, the Spirit of God said, no, they actually need history. Yes. Continue. Yes. Babel, Eric, Akkad, and Kalna in the land of Shinar. There you go, the land of Shinar. So notice some cities got built when there was only one city being built. <laughs> see, you're, 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 you're not catching the story because the rebellion has been simulated into our society that you don't even know you're walking around rebellious. So you don't see that this ha these cities were built after the rebellion. Because mm -hmm. there was only one city. But after the rebellion, he built more cities mm -hmm. and kept one of them, Babel. Mm -hmm. That one is there being built to show you you don't know where the other one was. Mm -hmm. Because all of these were being built after God judge. So let's replace it and so people will never know where the real one was. Go ahead. From that land he went to Assyria and built Nineveh, Rehoboth Ir, Kala, and Risen between Nineveh. So from Nineveh. there, Cush went and built more cities. He's, 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 um, expanding. He expanding. Mm -hmm. He, he started off with 13 colonies. Then he, then he went to the Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Then he went past the Mississippi and took stuff from Mexico and started calling it New Mexico. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then he went all the way to the Pacific and how did he get you to go over there? He said, it's gold there. <laughs> so all of the people in the East ran to the West. The rush. Because of the love of money, some people gotta have it. Some people really need it. They do things, do weird things, do stand bad things. Oh, y'all not with me? Then he said he united everything and called that united. But then he said let's conquer the nation. So he starts World War One and he wins that. But he, before that, he called, he called it the lead of nations. Mm -hmm. But that, they, they, they didn't like the word lead, so they changed the word lead of nations that they started in 1800 and called it United Nations. Uh -huh. So where's the United States? Uh -huh. Say, name, I'm, I'm in the United States. Uh -huh. when, when, when you go to the building called the United Nations building, where is that at? <laughs> That's in New York. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's a New York, there had to be an old one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If there's a new Mexico, there must have been an old Mexico. Oh, y'all yeah. oh, not listening to me. So you can't see Nimrod. Uh -huh. See, somehow you can't see you a part of the rebellion today. Uh -huh. You didn't know America was in the scriptures. Uh -huh. Because you didn't know Cush was called Nimrod. Uh -huh. So you can't see America. You can't see that they come in with one speech in one language, and so they open the borders to bring in every language from anywhere. They say, come on over. We will give you benefits. Well, we got homeless people already. But we ask you to leave your home to give you a home rather than give the one that's homeless. Wow. <laughs> Ain't that what the current president doing? Yeah. He got elected to do it. Y'all, yeah, somebody get quiet in here again. <laughs> Why? Because you don't know you're part of the rebellion. Mm. Don't you know America was started with a rebellion? Yeah. It's our foundation. Wow. It's our history, but the rebellion of America started here. Wow. See, if I can't show you America back then, you're not going to see it today. Mm. Mm. You're full of rebellion. Continue. Mizraim begot Ludim, Anamim, Lehabim, Naphtuhim, Pathrasim, and Kashlehim. 
from whom came the Philistines and Kaphtorim. So the Philistines coming from someone. The Amorites, they come, all of these giants and these people must come from someone. And that someone came from someone. So in the rebellion, when they rebel, God didn't come down to deal with the rebellion. The Most High, he separated them by the rebellion that was going up in the sky. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. In Deuteronomy, Moses says the rebellion started there. Mm -hmm. So they set up their boundaries down here because the Most High says, okay, you, go, you that's re rebellious, you're over this, and you are over this. And so, hence, I want you to hear this. In Genesis, right here, in Genesis, what I want, Genesis, go ahead and continue to read. Let me get past this. Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite, the Amorite. Here they come. And here the Gergeshite. So, so I, I, how can I tell you about Sihon and Og <laughs> if you don't know the history? Mm -hmm. It tells you who the father and the grandfather is. Mm -hmm. But you don't know who they are. You don't know that this guy, Sam, Sam, Sam Yaza, he's one of the watches that God cast down. You don't know he's from the sky. Mm -hmm. You don't know he's one of the sky people. And you don't know that 70 of the sky people came down and put kings or their children over nations, and they gave them name. What is the name of the kings of the sky people? Genesis 10 gives you all of the names of their sky. There's 70 names, mm -hmm. and each one of them belonged to one of the sky people. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so in the New Testament, look, 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 come, let's go ahead, continue. The Jebusite, the Amorite, and the Girgashite, the Hivite, the Archite, and the Sinite, the Arvidite, the Zemurite, and the Hamathite. Afterward, the families of the Canaanites were dispersed. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon as you go toward Gerar, as far as Gaza. Then as you go toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim. These are the five cities that God went to destroy. Mm -hmm. But he sent two men down to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, men can come back and forth from the next region. They can have sex with you. They walk among you. The Bible, Paul said, don't be afraid to entertain strangers, entertaining what? Angels. angels. But they are men angels. They, have, they, they look like us. They can eat like us. They can have sex like us. They can make babies. Now, somehow the church don't want you to believe that, what you read in the Bible. So it's giving you the history of these gods, and then we are looking at their children and the remnant of these gods that are still here today. Continue. As far as Lasha, these were the sons of Ham, according to their families, according to their languages. And these are all the children of Ham. Notice that in verse 15, he brings in Canaan. Canaan is the one he had from his mother. And, but it tells you, Canaan became the father of all of these children that Israel is going to fight because Canaan is the child of promise. <laughs> So his, because he's the child of promise, it's called the promised land. Oh, wow. Oh. So God says, I will give my firstborn Canaan's land. I'm going to take away him from the right of firstborn. So all they're fighting for is the right of firstborn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, Canaan became the father, and look in Genesis. Uh, why are we here in Genesis? Uh, Genesis 9, back up Genesis 9. Genesis 9, starting with verses, um, verse 18. 
Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. So it's telling you that Ham had Canaan, but he's listed among his brothers and his father who is his uncle and also his brother. Mm -hmm. So Ham has his brother and his son. Mm -hmm. To Canaan is Ham's brother mm -hmm. as well as his son. Yeah. <laughs> nor is Canaan's grandfather and stepfather. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Nor is Canaan's mother and also grandmother. Shem, Jabbat, I mean Shem and Jabbat is Canaan's uncle and his brother. <laughs> so Canaan <laughs> is related in such a way, but at the same time, because of the DNA of Ham touching his mother, that DNA, that DNA produces Sidon, verse 15 of the chapter 10. That DNA brings forth a hideous group of children mm -hmm. because that DNA of whatever his mother had and whatever Ham had, it caused, are you ready for this? Bible confusion. Wow. So later Moses is going to say, you must not touch your own mother and your own sisters. Wow. He says, this is what he said that is. Computer. That is Bible. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what is confusion? When America started legalizing family members now legally touching family members. Mm. Wow. Incest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all yeah, not listening to that. Pedophiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to see who are going to say, I can't take you here yet. I tried to this morning. Mm -hmm. Continue. I think this is more important than neighbor. I think it's more important. Yes. Okay. Yes. You go ahead. Canaan begot Sidon, his and, firstborn. And so, and so all of these, so, so who did he begot? Sidon, Sidon his ahead. firstborn, and Heth, Go ahead. the Jebusite, the Amorite. All of these people that God is going to send us to fight. Mm -hmm. In order for you and I to possess the land of promise, mm -hmm. we got to recognize who is Amma, mm -hmm. who is Sidon. Mm -hmm. We have to recognize the spirits of the past. Mm -hmm. Because you and I, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but we wrestle against the father of these people. Mm -hmm. Where? In the heavenly realm. Mm -hmm. wow. 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 So you got to recognize them on TV. Mm -hmm. You got to recognize them in the educational system. Mm -hmm. You got to get angry. Mm -hmm. Lest you give your children over to the gods of Molech, mm -hmm. the god of... Uh, 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 of Shemosh as you begin to give them, yourself to them. But first I have to show you where you live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You live in the land of the principality of all the gods. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are in the chief land. Mm -hmm. wow. You live in his capital area. Mm -hmm. you, that's why Washington, D.C. is number one in perversion in this whole nation, in this whole world. Mm -hmm. Washington, D.C. leads the nation in perversion, in AIDS, in homosexuality, in lesbian, in sexual transmitted disease, in married men who goes both ways. In the government, they, it's in Washington, D.C. that they make all of the laws of the whole land and then they push those laws on the nations because they are the world power. Mm -hmm. And you are part of it. You can't go down the ocean and not come back with sand. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you shake your shoes. Mm -hmm. 
No matter how long you come into church and you say, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wow. You go right back home. <laughs> you turn on the TV. And where Bellin told them, let the naked women run before the man, people of God, wow. you now have internet and you can't afford porn. Yeah. Mm. You if you like football, here come the cheerleader. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like the cheerleader, here come the commercial. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what a shame. Yeah. <laughs> she butt she butt naked. Ooh, what a shame. <laughs> now you can turn the TV on and not see the prophet balance fruit. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead. The Hivite, the Archite, and the Sinite, the Arvidite, the Zemurite, and the Hamathite. Afterward, the families of the Canaanites were dispersed. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon as you go toward Gerar, as far as Gaza, then as you go toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, as far as Lasha. These were the sons of Ham, according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands, and in their nations. Now here comes the interesting part, verse 21. And then we get to Shem. Go ahead. And children were born also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber. There you go. Ah. The father of all the children of who? Eber. Eber. So it tells you who Shem is. Who is Shem? Well, if you want to know who Shem is, you've got to go back to Genesis chapter 9. Because you, I, I'm trying to give you a story you ain't never heard before. Genesis 9, we got verse, verse, uh, ver, verses uh, 20, then Noah began farming. <laughs> Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard. Then he drank of the wine and was drunk and became uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of so their Ham father. So Ham sees that his father is unfit to leave the clan. Leave the clan. Mm -hmm. Remember, they all stayed together. Right. So I remember Genesis 11, they all was, so they all stayed together. So Ham said, this man ain't nothing but a bum and a drunk. Let me do what I have to do. So he does what nature does. He goes into the mother so that he can take order, take o over the whole clan. Oh, right. All right? Wow. And so he wants his seed to, to be what? Supersede even his brothers. Wow. And therefore his son will be the firstborn, and that son's son will be the firstborn. So he plants a new seed. And, and when Noah realized that, when did Noah realize? When he awakened? Does that mean he just woke up that day? Or when he finally started getting sober again? Yeah. Are you following me? Because I grew up with stuff like this. I know what this language means. I speak this speech. I know this story. That's why God saved me, so I could tell this story. And so, continue. So Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done to him. Then he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants he shall be to his yeah, brethren. Yeah, but we saw that in Genesis 10, Canaan is not going to be the servant, he's going to be the master. But what is he a servant to? He's a servant to his flesh. Why? Because Noah is not the father of Canaan. Hence, he's different flesh. What is Canaan? He's different flesh. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. He's different. That's not his seed. Continue. Blessed. Curse, curse be Canaan, a servant of servants he shall be to his so brethren. he gets what we call the curse. Mm -hmm. A servant of servants he would become. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he said, blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem. So guess what he calls Shem. And you can read this a thousand times and never know what this means. So he curses this boy, but he has four sons now. Mm -hmm. So let's see what he says for all four sons. Being a prophet. Go ahead. He says, Blessed 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem. So who is Shem? Who is Shem? He tells you who Shem is. Who is Shem? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem. So who is Shem? God's blessing. God's son. So when this happens, when this rebellion here, is, this stuff is going on. You don't know where in the timeline is going on. All right. You don't know what year this is happening. So when he awakens, in other words, Noah comes out of his alcohol. He goes back to first love. There's a, re a, a revival to come to Noah. What brings the revival? All hell and broke loose. Why? Because of Noah. Wow. Noah is responsible for the rebellion. Yeah. Wow. Why? Because he's a drunk. Yeah. He's setting the wrong example. Yeah. And now his children are going to hate God, except one. Wow. Wow. One refused to go and be part of the rebellion. And his name is Shem. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Shem means? The name. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hmm. What name do Shem has? The Lord God's name. Shem means I'm the name. It's from me that God wants the name. Because Shem, who is Shem? He's the promised one. And from him comes Eber. And from Eber, he becomes the father of Abraham. Wow. Notice that there's a gap between Eber and all of the other ones because Eber has sons. Eber names one Peleg and the other Joktan. He says, this is when my own children rebelled against me. And so he named it the rebellion. Noah woke up during that time. So Noah wakes up, but he can't stop what happened because of his testimony. He can't change history. David couldn't change history. Wow. You can't undo what you did when you were drunk. You can't put your panties back on. You can't take them off your head and then put them back after you've been bouncing on the bed laughing. Then. Doing the orgy move. Wow. You, you, you can't undo. And so you, 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 the prince of the power come in your home and he's in the air. He's prince of the power of the air. The spirit of fornication, the spirit of adultery is in the air, it's in the rooms when you go in them. Do you know I can visit some of y'all and I know everything going on? Wow. Do you know I can discern the spirits of your home? Wow. Mm. You can't watch porn and I walk in your house. Didn't I tell you I had a midlife crisis? Do you know I'm familiar with all of them spirits now? <laughs> Do you know I can feel them? You turn the TV off and you know they stay in the room? Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You can't hide your gods. You can come to church, but I can greet you and feel you. I know some of y'all ain't gonna come up here today and say, yeah. Are you gonna duck your head down? You gonna say, hey, prophet, hey. And the women got spirits now, unbelievable the spirit. You have spirits of men. You want to play their sports, you want to be a basketball, a, a tennis player, you want to do everything a man do. You in America. Now they let men come into your sports. Now you, a man, boys and girls can go into each other's bathrooms, and this is America. This is supposed to be Christianity. What are you blind, deaf, and dumb? And you want to learn about some Zaza and Sahang and Ah? Oh, I'm going to teach you. <laughs> Continue. Wow. 
And, and so, blessed be the God of the name, Shem. That's what his name means, the name. And let Canaan be his servant. But instead, Canaan is going to attack Shem mm -hmm. and try to make him a slave to his flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the Lord God is going to give Shem another name, his name. Wow. Mm -hmm. Y'all that with me? Mm -hmm. So in the days of Bible, they said, let us make a, the word name there is Shem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you go back to the original, Genesis 11, it says they did that, and then they say, verses 4, And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. Let us make a shim. Let's, let's make a shim for ourselves. We don't want to go by shim. Why? Because he follows God. He's walking with God. And so when you follow the generation of Sim, something happened. What happened in the days? Continue. We're back in Genesis 9. Then it says, verse 27. About Japheth, the older one. May God enlarge Japheth, and may he dwell in the tents of Shem. Uh, see, it's Shem, 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 Shem. It's the name. It's the name. Say neighbor. Neighbor. God has given me the name Jesus. God has given me the name Jesus. But you're trying to make a name for yourself. Wow. <laughs> Jesus says, henceforth have you done nothing in my name. Mm. Because he kept the best for last. Mm. And so he says, and came and be his servant, nor live 350 years after the flood. Mm. So unbeknown to you, wow. mm. in the days of Nim, let's go back. And so, in Genesis, um, what do I want? I want Genesis, um, da, 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 Genesis 11, mm -hmm. verse 10. Now I want you to hear this. This is the genealogy of Shem. This is the genealogy of the name. And so they poured the name out of all of the other ones and they said, let me give you the history of the name. Mm -hmm. The one who Noah says, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Mm -hmm. He didn't say that of Jabbok. He didn't say that of Ham, and he didn't say that of Canaan. Mm -hmm. He said that all of them become Shem's servant. Mm -hmm. Okay? And watch this. Go here. Shem, the name, was 100 years old and begot Arphaxad two years after the flood. So two years after the flood, flood he has the first one. Remember now, he's going to be one like J uh, Joshua and the rest of them. As for me and my house, we should serve God. Mm -hmm. So he's going to instill in this boy mm. who God is and who the Lord God is. Go ahead. After he begot Arphaxad, Shem lived 500 years and begot sons and daughters. So he lived 500 years after he did this. Mm. Plus the years that he had before the flood. And he, how old was when he had his child? He was 100 years old, two years after the flood. Mm -hmm. So two years after the flood, he was 100. Mm -hmm. That means somebody else was, Japheth is the oldest boy, and Ham is his youngest brother. So he's in the middle of the two boys. Mm -hmm. And so go ahead. Arphaxad lived 35 years and begot Salah. After he begot Salah, Arphaxad lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. So notice the years. Yeah. Nene, continue. Salah lived 30 years and begot Eber. After he begot... Okay, then this is Eber. And go ahead. After he begot Eber, Salah lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. Go ahead. Eber lived 34 years and begot Peleg. And here's the same Peleg we heard about when the rebellion came. Go ahead. 
After he begot Peleg, Eber lived 430 years and begot sons and daughters. So if you notice the first four generations after Shem, because Shem comes off the ark. Right. They lived 430 years. So what do you notice that in the, before the flood, they were living in the 900s, mm -hmm. except two. Only two people, Lamech, the day before the flood, and Enoch, mm -hmm. who never died. Right. They're the only two exceptions. Like Nick, though, he lives 777 to tell us about the man that's coming as 666. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we have a 777 man, and the Bible says, here's wisdom. Can you recognize the 666 man? Mm -hmm. All right? Then is it a man or is it a government? Is it a system or is it a, a generation? So when, you, when we talk in this, you have to have knowledge of the old to be able to unravel the mystery and the parables of the new. Continue. Peleg lived 30 years and begot Ryu. After he begot Ryu, Peleg lived 209 years and begot sons and daughters. Ryu lived- Now notice something. After the destruction, after the earthquake, after the continents is pushed out, Something happened because in his day, his brother's name is Joktan. It means to cut in half the generation from before them. Then before them, there's 400 and something. Mm -hmm. Do you know if you take the four and divide it, I mean, add all four ages before, or that first come off the flood, not counting Shem, add them together and then divide it by four, <laughs> and then look at that number, you're going to see the age of the next group when the days that the earthquake came and he subdivided the ages in half. Wow. Continue. Ryu lived 32 years and begot Serug. After he begot Serug, Ryu lived 207 years and begot sons and daughters. Continue. Serug lived 30 years and begot Nahor. After he begot Nahor, Serug lived 200 years and begot sons and daughters. Go ahead. Nahor lived 29 years and begot Terah. After now, Terah is the father of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Now, something happens in Terah's life. What? Why? So if I had my time chart up here, and, and uh, even though it is on the cloud, where's Michael? But anyway, anyway, I'll bring it up next week. But anyway, but it's, he can get to it right now. In the cloud, I have a time chart from Adam all the way to Christ. And the time chart is based off of the Word of God, not secular history. So I can show you where people place that in history in the secular world based off of the Word of God, not the lies that keep putting millions of years pushing secular history further and further in the past, okay? So this is what I want you, what you can see. You will see that after the flood, all the way up to the Tower of Babel, no one died. Because God didn't have death in the earth. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. If you look at the time chart, mm -hmm. I said, Mike, I don't know where he went. But if you look at the time chart, you will see all the way up to Pele, <laughs> to the rebellion, God didn't let anything die on the earth. Mm -hmm when it comes to man or women or children. And so when they rebel, guess what came back to the earth? Yeah. Death. Yeah. And what was the first judgment? The earthquake. What was the first judgment? The earthquake. No, no, Michael, it's not gonna be on that. It's on my cloud. Um, it's, it's, in the, it's in the cloud, it's, it's one of the charts with the, with the history on it. In other words, I just read you, and somebody was this old, and that was old, and so in the days of Pele, mm -hmm. it, that, that year is 1996, mm -hmm. 1996 from creation. Mm -hmm. Not 1996 A, B, C, or A day. It's 19, so 1,996. Mm -hmm. Was the was was P leg was 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 you know something happened in that time, mm -hmm. all right. So we know when P leg lived, mm -hmm. 
and we uh, was born, and we know when he died. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in that time frame, mm -hmm. when Eber was having him, because he's going to name that child based off of all of the stuff that's going on. He's going to name his brother Jocktan based off of what was going on. And he's telling people like me who, who, who read the concordance, who get to, you know, okay, who, who, what do your name mean? What do your name mean? Let me see what happened in your days, because God tells history by names. <laughs> All right? So in this rebellion, God says everybody was alive. <laughs> I ain't killed nobody. I let everybody live. I love them. They gave me, Noah gave me this beautiful sacrifice. He became an alcoholic. I ain't even wow. Wow. Because he messed up his own testimony. Yeah. Huh. You know, you can mess up your own testimony today. God don't bother you. Wow. <laughs> you can be homosexual, you can be a lesbian, you can be a liar, thief. God don't bother you in the church. Wow. You got whole churches full of people like that. Wow. God, leave him alone. <laughs> but today, when it comes to visit them, there's going to be an earthquake. Wow. There's going to be a shaking. Mm. And so they didn't even die until this day. <laughs> and so he saw, and so what's the name? Go ahead. After he begot Terah, Nahor lived 119 years and begot sons and daughters. Go ahead. Now Terah lived 70 years and begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Go ahead. This is the genealogy of Terah. So Terah has a genealogy. Mm. So something happens in Terah's life. Josh should tell you, he worshiped other gods. <laughs> So God comes to his son Abraham and say, leave your father's house. And don't take any of his gods. Why? I need to put back on order the name of Shem. And so Abraham was called not a Terranite from his father. He was called a Hebrew, a son of Eber. He was never called Terah's son. Mm -hmm. And when God went into Egypt, he came to get the Hebrews. Now, I put my DNA in the DNA pool, and it comes to find out that my mother, father, is Eber. My father, father, is Genesis, <coughs> that is 10, verse 13. Mizam, Aram, Zam, M-I-Z-R-A-I-M. Mizraim. Mizraim. Now, and I told you, my DNA is not a, uh, not a sub-clan. I have the original root, which means, and I'm the firstborn of my father, which basically means I am the chief of this particular clan you're looking at here. So if, if, we, if everything followed it as it does in history, you are listening to King Aaron and that prophet Aaron. And so who am I? I'm, by my DNA, I'm a king. Now my mother, she comes from the family of the priests. And so who am I? A chief priest. I'm Aaron. Mm. Right. Wow. And then I'm Michael. Wow. I'm Michael and I'm Aaron. Yeah. So in my DNA, my mother comes from the priesthood, mm -hmm. and my father comes from the pharaohs and the kings. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord Most High has decided that I would be a king and a priest wow. because that's what my DNA is. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with my DNA. Mm -hmm. So God sprinkled me among slaves and everything else, mm -hmm. and he hid me among them. Mm -hmm. And out of Egypt, he called his son. Yeah. Out of the world, he called me. And minding my business one day, he took the steering wheel. <laughs> Why? Because I was created to be me. Mm -hmm. And so, what, what, and when, my, when, when my, my father's father people was in slavery, the one that escaped, guess what his name was? Moses. <laughs> Do you know he had to cross a river with his kids to escape? Because he got free and he went back and get his kids off of the plantations that was in the south. 
a few of them drowned crossing the, 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 the river. I think three or four of these kids drowned crossing that river. But obviously, I didn't drown because I had to come from money. So Ern had to come from Moses. My father's mother is the daughter of the chief of the Piscataway Indian. Y'all on my land right now. This is all the land that belonged to my father that was chief. Wow. Or my grandfather. <laughs> and so, you don't know who you are mm -hmm. hidden in that flesh. But your DNA don't lie. Mm -hmm. I told my niece here that her father is the grand the grandson of the great grandson of Ulysses Grant the president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and his older sister is named after the grandmother. Yep, we didn't know that. And the names are just reversed. Mm. What's her name? Adonia. Adonia, her whole name. Uh, what's her whole name? I can't, yeah, I can't remember. You can't remember. <laughs> I got it on my chart. Yeah. Is it Gloria or something like that? It's, um, I can't remember her name. And so, so, and so, so my sister's children, it doesn't matter. We have royalty in our blood. My mother's father's mother is from the richest black family in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. I found that in, 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 in my genealogy study in the star. Mm -hmm. So I'm going and I'm picking up my family and I'm like, what? Uh -huh. Then it's the gangster side. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my mother's, my mother's father lived next door to my father's people and they were the godfather of Washington, D.C. Guess where I get that from? The paper. Oh, <laughs> That's why my mother didn't want me to know the neighbor. She didn't know that she married the son of the woman that was there because she gave her son up. And only years later did she realize that her neighbor was the mother of her husband. Mm. So how many of y'all learned about Canaan today? Mm. How many of y'all learned about Nimrod today? But more than that, how many did y'all learn about America today? And how many learned that you are currently under those gods? And so there's a reason to leave here and ask God for deliverance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That he may have mercy on your gods. Mm -hmm. So the Lord God will come to Jacob and he says, look, all your sons have picked up the gods of the land. Mm -hmm. They didn't picked up the gold, the earrings, the tattoos, and all the other stuff that they got. Mm -hmm. you know? And he says, look, put your house in order. Mm -hmm. My message for this series is to put my house in order. Mm -hmm. Not by law, mm -hmm. but by grace. Mm -hmm. All I can ask you to do like I'm doing. Yeah. Work out your own salvation. Yeah. But you should be afraid. Mm -hmm. And you should be trembling mm -hmm. because God is holy. Mm -hmm. And we are not. Mm -hmm. wow. We are shaping in iniquity. Mm -hmm. And in sin we were conceived. That God may be glorified, that there is none of good, no, not one. That all may cry out to God when they see their need. And how will they know their need and see their need without a preacher? And how will he be able to preach unless he's sent? So how much do God love you? He sent me. Jesus. Who? Firstborn. He sent one of his own kings and one of his own priests to say to you, God loves you. So this is not the time to draw away from the reality that we are under the influence of the gods of America. This is the time when we cry out and beseech the Lord that preadventure, he has mercy on us. That God will send like he did with Lot, someone to get you out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't make the mistake of turning back, right. nor asking for a little bit of that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. 
you have to hate it all. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the lifestyle was enough to get incest with Lot and his daughters. Mm -hmm. Because they couldn't find any men in the world. Mm -hmm. But up on the mountain, Abraham had sons mm -hmm. from Keturah. Mm -hmm. Who did Abraham? Abraham had children from Keturah, who Sarah gave to him to replace Hagar. Mm -hmm. And so, I guess I'm done by now for the day. I didn't even get to my PowerPoint prayer. I got stuck on one thing, and I digress. <laughs> yeah, 